have a nice day students today i am coming up with a video about the introduction of gym software i am using ubuntu 18.04 and in this operating system the gym software is installed by default and uh, when you install the ubuntu operating system from internet you may not see this gym software in that situation you can download the gym software from the internet itself with the free of cost uh, at that time you will get the latest version you don't need to pay it is absolutely free it's belongs to open source community now to open gym software we need to go through application graphics gnu image manipulation program now it is loading it depends the hardware configuration of the pc it will take some time now it is loaded now the gimp software is working with the single window mode but by default uh, at the first at the first time of installation this will not be the appearance of your gimp software actually the gimp software will have three windows the first window is canvas window toolbox window and layer channel window you can change the mode of appearance from windows menu you can find a, a, a small tick mark just left side of the uh, single window mode which means now the gimp software is working in single window mode you can remove the tick mark by simply clicking on the option now you can see each of the window become separately this is toolbox this is canvas window this is layer chart <coughs> when you use the gimp software in a multiple window mode you can close the gimp software in a proper way by closing the canvas window only all the other window will close automatically if you close the gimp software by closing toolbox separately layer channel separately and then gnu uh, sorry this uh, canvas window after all you cannot see these two toolbox and layer channel when you take the gimp software once again for a clear and better understanding let me show you uh, what will happen when you close the gimp software in a wrong way so i am closing toolbox now then again layer channel then now the only one window i need to close is canvas window i am closing canvas now i close the gimp software but when you open the gimp software once again from application graphics gym you can see only the canvas window then we need to bring all the other two window back to do this from windows menu you can click the new toolbox option you will get this toolbox again and you can adjust the width and height of the toolbox like this this is canvas window the next window we need to uh, we need to appear is window menu recently closed docs here you can see the layer channel paths tool option <coughs> and everything you can click here you will get the layer channel again that is why i told you according to my opinion if you feel this three separate window mode is convenient for you you can proceed with that but according to my opinion this multiple window is not a, a good method to operate so i prefer to change it to single window mode so from the windows menu 
single window mode and again you can adjust the width and height of the toolbox and the layer channel too. Okay. Here first of all I would like to give you some introduction about uh, canvas. Now, we are going to prepare our canvas. So, first of all we need to go through file menu, new, here the you will get a small window, here first option is template. Template is nothing but a, a, the size of your canvas. Or if you prefer to change the size according to uh, your custom dimension, you can do that. If you wish to type the width and height as your custom dimension, you can type here and the unit will be px by default, you can change px means pixel and if you wish to change here inches millimeter points because there are different types of uh, measurement is here and uh, by default it will be pixel or if you can uh, choose the standard sizes from the template here there is a3 a4 a5 a6 and everything and a thousand now i am selecting 1024 and 768 for our work and also you can change the page alignment by default it will be landscape if you wish you can change to portrait now i am changing to portrait the next one is advanced option you can click on the small arrow mark and it will it will point to downward you can see the uh, other options. And the first option under the advanced option is X resolution. Now, you can change the X resolution as 300 and when you hit the tab key by typing the uh, 300 in X resolution, you will get the Y resolution as 300 automatically because this chain is locked. According to our definition, this is, uh, is uh, this, uh, actually we are doing a, what, what we doing is, uh, we are setting the resolution of our canvas. Now, pixels per inch, in a one, one inch square, you can find 300 pixels in x resolution, x, di x direction and uh, 300 pixels in y, y direction. And similarly, you can change the color space in Photoshop software you may have heard about color schemes, both are same, but in our, in our uh, GIMP software there is two type of color space that is RGB and grayscale, RGB for color and grayscale for black and white. Here I, I would like to select RGB. Next one is fill width. Actually this fill width depends the background sorry canvas color. What color you willing to select for your canvas. Now the selected option is background color. Background color means now, if you choose this background color in fill with option, your background color will be white because you can see here, this is this black color is embossed a little bit and uh, the white color is, is the background. So, this is this white is background when you type a letter and when you draw anything or when you paint anything, the 
the color of that particular drawing will be black right now. If you wish to change the color you can do that there is no problem but by default the foreground color will be black and background color will be white. In this contest if you choose background color in the fill width option you will get the background color as white. Okay. And again if you wish to foreground color as your canvas background color you can change here this now the foreground color will be your <coughs> foreground color means here it is black, uh, black color will be your background. But I think it is better to choose or if you wish to uh, transparency, transparency means there is no color. Okay. And uh, if you uh, went to a flat decision your background color should be white you can click here. But by default background uh, fill width will be background color, background color means now it is white. Okay. Then uh, optionally you can type your comment here uh, created with by default it will be created with Jim and you can type your own name created by created by Viju Jacob. Okay. Now click OK. So, these are the background attributes or the canvas attributes we have to do, we have to prepare before proceeding uh, uh, to the uh, before clicking to uh, uh, clicking on the OK button. Okay. Now, I am clicking on OK button. Yes, now I have created uh, the background or my canvas. Now, you can see 768 into 7 uh, into 1024 uh, as my canvas dimension. This will be in pixels and RGB is my color scheme and untitled, untitled means uh, I never saved this file yet. So, now we are going to save the image. From the file menu you can click here save button otherwise you can use this shortcut control S to save. A dialog box will appear you can navigate to the destination folder and here I am preferring from the home folder. Here there is a one folder named as the students underscore works underscore 9 or 8 any folder you can choose. Now I am selecting students underscore works underscore 8. Okay. Here you can name the file as activity, activity 1 and this is a file format xcf, xcf will be the file format of the Jimbo software and if you use the Photoshop in Windows operating system you can use the file you can see the file format will be PSD just like that in Jimbo software your file format your project file format will be xcf. Okay. Now, we did everything the destination location then click on save button. Now, we saved the file now you can see activity 1 dot xcf instead of untitled. Okay. So, we created our canvas you can see the background layer which we created just before in the layer channel as a background and uh, you must uh, understand one thing each and every element you are going to draw or insert in Jimbo software using Jimbo software should be in separate layers. Otherwise, you cannot manage each of the elements separately. Suppose uh, you just insert everything in a single layer or background layer itself, you cannot access these objects separately if you wish, that is the main problem. So, you must create a separate layer for each objects. 
or each elements whether it is inserted object or you are uh, drawing objects. Okay. So, I would like to create this layer you can click here this small plus button here you can click here otherwise you can click on the menu new layer or you can use the shortcut shift to control n to create new layer. But I think it is better to practice uh, uh, to create a layer from here. Now, I am going to create the layer you can name the layer layer 1 and you can keep the transparency color. We have already if you change uh, uh, foreground color, background color or white color you cannot see the underlying layers object. Okay. So, in the, in the case of layer in normal situation you can select the transparency, but if, you, if it comes any situations to uh, give a color for your uh, layer you can do that there is no problem, but now transparency is suitable then ok we created one layer, layer 1 and uh, we, we are trying to draw a rectangular box using our selection tool. So, here it is this is the rectangular selection you can click here and uh, make a selection yes I made a selection. Now, you, you can fill a color inside this rectangular box. Now, we selected the layer 1 by selecting layer 1 we uh, create a selection using the rectangular selection and uh, I do not like this black color I would like to change the, uh, the black color to uh, green color green color then click ok. And again using the bucket fill tool I am using this tool to fill the selected area with the green color. Now, I selected uh, now I fill the selected area with the green color. Then I would like to remove the selection for that you can use this select menu <coughs> using none using none you can remove the selection. Now, we removed the selection now we just drawn a, an object in the layer 1. Okay. And uh, right now I wish to introduce you some of the speciality uh, of the layer which we inserted. This I symbol represents hide and show options by default you can see this I symbol just left side of your layer, uh, layer which means now it is showing when you click on I symbol it will hide now we just hide the layer 1 outright. The layer 1 is the we, uh, we uh, never deleted, but it is hidden. Now, we can click once again in the same location you can bring the I symbol back you can see the object here, what all things you draw in that uh, layer you can see that. Okay. So, we created an object in the layer. So, actually this video contains only the introduction uh, topics. So, these uh, topics is enough to get a basic idea about how to create a canvas in GIMP software. And if you feel this video is awesome you can share or click on the bell icon 
wish you all the best thank you